Hello? I need to test because my microphone is kind of far away. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Hello. This is a very spare of the moment stream. Cause um I was not meant to be streaming today, but I felt the urge to build and I'm like I have control over my own destiny. I could just stream right now. So I um I haven't changed my setup at all, so my microphone is too far away and I am still in bed. I am covered in a pile of blankets, but we're building a tower. <laughs> we do it. We got them fancy shaders. Look at how cool the world looks. I think it's sunrise. <laughs> it's not that it's time for bed. I haven't slept yet. It's 6 a.m. <laughs> okay, so we're building this bad boy up. And I have been- I was meant to only be offline because I was like collecting stone and stuff to build with. We have more furnaces now. <laughs> I was meant to not do this. I'm not prepared at all, but here we are, so we're vibing. Up we go. I don't know how tall I want this tower to be. I assume very tall. That sounds like a great height to be. <laughs> I want it to be as tall as I am, IRL. Oh, that's not... <laughs> that's not stone! Why do I have that on my hotbar? Oh god. I left the Discord alone for five seconds. Ooh, a stream. Yeah, I was I wasn't meant to be streaming, but I am now. This is just the life we're living. I physically cannot stop myself from building towers. I've Oh, all that stone I collected was not enough stone. Is this all enough? Huh. I forgot I had shaders on and that things have shadows. Ha. Huh. That's fun. Hello. Yes, I meant to actually it's seven AM. I haven't slept yet. I was meant to be going to sleep soon. And I am instead not doing that and I'm Building a tower. That was a mistake. Oh. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Okay, we need more stone. I think that's literally all the stone that Kami gave me. It's all gone now. Oh no! What? I, I'm an idiot. I am currently nocturnal. I'm not meant to be, but I am. <laughs> this would be good, actually. As much as I need to stay up till 3 a.m. tonight, um, to Sunday I need to be awake at like afternoon. You know, for streaming. How do I get back up? Actually, let's just go in the ocean and let's see how tall it is. It's not very tall. I want at least like double that. We want a tall boy. He want he needs to be so tall. Oh god, the shaders look so cool. Oh, 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 look at the, like, the water lighting. Oh, that's so pretty. How have I survived without shaders? <laughs> He's not tall yet. He needs to be nice and tall. How do I get up to the top? Ah. Uh, I could probably put a water elevator in the center, but, like, I don't think I'm legally allowed to, so... Eh. Where 
are you? Hi! You look ominous. Something something lore, I don't know. Okay, but I want to murder him. I think it would be funny if I murdered him. He's he's so glowy, yeah. I could I could murder a man. Will I have regrets? We could find out. Oh, I think he's gone. Oh no, he's still here. Where did he go? Where did he go? He's coming from this way. Where are you? <laughs> Where did he go? There he is. Okay. Oh, he's under the two. Oh, I can kill him and he can't hit me. Haha. <laughs> he's so mad. <laughs> Why did he run away? Why did he run away? Wait a minute. <laughs> Come here. No, no, what? That, that's not how this works. I... Where are you? How did he de -aggr Wait a minute! I aggroed him. Why is he suddenly de -aggred? Hi. He's a very glowy boy. I really like how glowy the eyes are. Eyes pretty. Oh, not pearl. Anyway, it's how time. <laughs> you can't encourage murder and then regret it. That's not how this works. Was he? I did he? I don't know about that. Oh. Oh, okay. I know. I I survive it. There's one back there. I don't have a spawn point over here. I could. I could just jump. I don't. But it does so much damage. I could, though. I cannot! The ocean is too far away on all sides. It's fine, I survived. <laughs> We've done it. Okay, we need to go mining, boys. Hi, Faye! Why are you awake this early? I... You're like a growing child that needs sleep. What are you doing? Ah, I remember why I don't go out here at night time. That's why. That's why I don't go out here at night time. But I need the stone. This is what Kami most mining stone. I heard I may have gold burst a little too hard. Okay. Oh, that this is a dangerous situation that I am exiting from. <laughs> I do not consent to this situation. I'm leaving, I'm exiting, I'm understanding my own boundaries, and I'm leaving the situation. Is that iron? Like, that iron is so close to the surface. Uh, well, Faye, beloved, the answer is I haven't slept. <laughs> so it's not early, it's late. Okay, um, oh okay. yeah, I forgot class existed. I've just evolved past that. 
<laughs> Where? Um, here's a cave. Let's just steal its walls. I love that I don't even have iron tools yet. I, I haven't advanced to iron tools yet. I was simply um, making Kami do all the work for me. Is what I was doing. We. I want that on my hot dog. So yeah, it's a chill stream because I keep forgetting to talk. So we're just gonna vibe, I guess. Uh, for me or for Faye? Ah, it is 7 a.m. <laughs> I haven't slept since um, yesterday, and you know when I woke up yesterday, because <laughs> that's when I went into Kami's stream. <laughs> I haven't slept since then. <laughs> yeah, we're in like same or very similar time zones. Where is he? Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, I'm fine. Like, look at how pretty the water is at sunset. I like sunset and sunrise. Maybe come over here. Like, look at how pretty this is. Okay. It's so pretty. I love the water. It's so pretty. I love these shaders. I'm like actually just gonna use them all the time because I love how pretty it looks. I don't love how- I don't like that guy. Oh, we're like in almost opposite time zones. That's fun. Ah, mm. I run out of coal. That's not good. I have iron! I can make an iron pickaxe! What is wrong with me? I have- oh my fucking god, I'm an idiot. <laughs> this is the first time I fucking made iron, I swear to god. Okay. We need stone. We need logs. Hi, Gus. Gus, my beloved. Are you having a lovely 7 a.m.? Because I am. Oh, fuck. Hell yeah. I've never actually watched any of Fenster's streams. I have, like, seen all the clips of them and stuff, but, like, I don't know. For someone who's a fan of a lot of streamers, I don't actually watch streams all that often. The only people who streams I actually watch are... This feels of Minecraft. This feels of Minecraft. And Technoblade, but that doesn't count because he doesn't stream. It looks so fucking pretty underwater. Oh, f mm, it's so pretty. Have I told you what my plans are for like my house over here? I'll have you know all of them stream at times when I was gonna say when I'm asleep, but I'm I'm not asleep, so <laughs> you know. But I have to be up at 3am tonight for the Technoblade plushie launch because, um, legally, I, mm, I gotta look at that boy. I mean, look at him. How can I say no to that little face? Hey. 
It's, yeah, it's like, it's like 3 a.m., I think. Um, someone calculated it, and I'm just trusting what he said. <laughs> we. I have no clue what Rambu is fucking streaming. What is that? What category is that? I like- is that a video game? Is that like just a weird title of a video game? <laughs> okay, but me and Foolish's stream is the same because we're just fucking building. Unless he's doing Valorant again. Spooky game. Ah! Of course. As much as I love Rondo, um, I will physically not watch any of his spooky content because I am a baby. <laughs> Legally, I can't. I am too much of a wimp. I need to go get more coal. I can't watch Valorant content. I just find it too boring. Spooky game. Has, um, have the fans figured out if Rambu's fucking haunted yet or not? Is he haunted? <laughs> I like watching- okay, on TikTok. I like the clips of- I have no clue what game it is. It's like- it's a- it's a shooty shooty gun game though. Of like, um, like girl gamers and like those- like- because they're all in the toxic lobbies because of course they are. It's a- it's a shooty shooty gun game. But like, the- the guys in those lobbies being like- <laughs> oh, d dolphin. Like, sexist as hell, and then them completely, like, destroying them. I love those clips. Look, the closest I'll get to playing a gun game is, um, I'm gonna be forced to play Portal at some point. That's the best I got. <laughs> I know not what any of those games are. <laughs> yeah, two, they're my favorite. I love them. Because they always get destroyed so single-handedly. <laughs> And it's like, come on, man, you can't say anything to save yourself now. <laughs> uh, we should go get... We need locks. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Valid. Okay, Rambu like going through all the like the story games is reminding me how much of like I love them and want to play them. Like, um, oh, the minute I started talking about it, it just immediately blanked from my mind. Like how everyone wants him to play Night in the Woods and I'm like, fuck, I really did want to play Night in the Woods when it came out, huh? I forgot that it existed and I kind of want to play it again now. Like him playing those games and reminding me that those games exist and I'm like, yeah, I do want to play those games, huh, don't I? I wanted to play fucking, oh my god, the, um... Oh my god, yeah! <laughs> They're like, oh, it's a female. Legally, I cannot speak to you. Good day, madam. <laughs> yeah, I love her. The fuck was I talking about? Um... What game was he playing a while ago? It was the game that's like... It's like you like use perspective and you pick up objects and you use that perspective to change the object size to um, like solve puzzles. What is that game called? Like you're in a room and you can pick up objects and you can use perspective to make like like a little toy block but it's like as big as the room is because of your perspective and you place it down and it actually gets that big. <laughs> Yeah, that game. I, like, even before Rambi played it, I've been looking at the game for a while because, um... <laughs> if anyone remembers the name, the chat, please tell me. But, like, I, I know about that game for a while because I went on this rabbit hole. Because sometimes I go on rabbit holes on YouTube where it was, um... I was watching a ton of videos about non-Euclidean geometry. Like, stuff like that. It's the game where you can like pick up objects and 
and use perspective to change their size to like like do the puzzles in the game it's based on that but yeah i know about that game from a like a rabbit hole i went down on youtube about non-euclidean geometry because i watched one math video about it a non-euclidean geometry is just um okay i don't remember which one it is because you have Euclidean geometry and non-Euclidean geometry. And Euclidean geometry is geometry that's on a sphere. So technically, I think that one's Euclidean. And that's what we have because we live on a sphere. And non-Euclidean geometry is uh, geometry that is not on a sphere. It's like on the... How do they describe it? It's like, it's just not that. And it's weird and it breaks your brain because it's not what we experience. Um... Also, fun fact, it was mentioned in one of H.P. HP um, Lovecraft's, the sneaky man himself, his story about Cthulhu, I do believe. Because the island that Cthulhu was asleep on was um, non-Euclidean geometry, because he was afraid of it. Superliminal! Superliminal! That was what it is. Hell yeah, superliminal. <laughs> yeah. No, and there was, I went on a rabbit hole and I found this dude who's making this video game about non-Euclidean geometry. So they do, and it's so fucking cool. I need to remember who he is because he's so cool. Ah, uh, because like he has like test videos to like test out the mechanics into the game, and there's like ones where you like walk, you, there's like an open field, and you walk through a hallway, and as you walk through it. You look, you, the, everything around you gets really big and you come out the other end and you're just tiny and then you can keep going through it. It's like, you can keep going around the same way and keep getting smaller and smaller. And you can also do it the opposite to keep getting bigger and bigger. And there's also like, um, this fun thing where, okay, so you know how you have, you have a square and it has four sides so it can connect to four other squares or technically eight. Yeah, in non-Euclidean geometry, it can connect more than eight. You can have more squares around one square. And it's just super cool and trippy and I love it. And I'm dumb and stupid so I'll never actually truly like understand it. Because I, I, I can't do math. But it's really cool. Rant of the day over. I meant to be building a tower. Um. Oh, fuck. I, what they do is... The best way to demonstrate it in a 3D plane is to crochet it because on the corner, the corner of two square of two like squares is connected to it, <laughs> and it's really fucking cool. Ah, fuck! If I find the video, I'll link it in my Discord. I want to go back down that rabbit hole. It was a really, it's a really fun rabbit hole. <laughs> it's because it's like um like you know how 3d objects can't properly exist in a 2d plane it can't properly exist in our plane because we're not in i think a non-euclidean plane so we we can't conceptualize it we can't conceptualize how it would work because our brains are just wired to not because that's just not how the world is you know it's just fun, and I, I love going on weird rabbit holes on YouTube like that. They're so much fun. <laughs> ah! Oh, fuck. I, oh, I thought I jumped off like a fucking idiot. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Why is my mouse doing this? Why must my mouse do me like this? That's not right. That's not right at all. What have I done? I'm silent. I'm sorry. I... Brain turned off. What should I talk about? I know not. I simply don't have thoughts, chat. <laughs> oh, fuck. Why am I... Ah. Do you think 
this is tall enough? This is a high tall, right? sphere without like cutting it a sharp coin ah oh, that video is a fucking trip oh, it's so weird to watch yeah dude <laughs> it's a video about like a 3d sphere and you have to invert it without any sharp points otherwise the entire sphere will disintegrate and the way they do it is so weird and it breaks your brain and it's like what did i just watch <laughs> It's so good. Dude, I love it. I love that view so much and I have no idea. I've lost it forever. I didn't save it, so now it's gone to the sands of time. It's a funky shape. I still don't understand how they did it. Like, surely that would just have the sharp corners, wouldn't it? Like, in the bits? I could probably reach the ocean if I jumped from here. No! <laughs> oh my fucking god, I'm an idiot. Okay. I need to go. I think it's like directly that way. I'm a fucking idiot. Don't mind me, I have to get back. Just real quick. <laughs> Ow. I don't remember the exact direction to get back, so we're going the long way. <laughs> Other random things you want explained? Because my favorite pastime is just explaining things. I don't know why, that's like my favorite thing to do. I just love explaining things. I find immense joy <laughs> in it. It's fine, I'll survive. I'm, I'm swift on my feet. <laughs> it is. Um... You know what I did the other stream, um, the last like modded stream I was in? I was like sick and high for on like pain meds. I like you couldn't even hear my voice. Um and I just started explaining the plot of like a Barbie movie I'd recently seen. <laughs> like I just went beat for beat and just did the entire plot. <laughs> for like no reason. Why did I do that? Oh no. I think that- I think- I think that skeleton just hit a creeper. Yeah, it wasn't even one of the good ones, it was one of the newer ones. Pick a Barbie movie, and I'll explain it to the best of my ability. A lot of them I haven't seen recently, so... We can only hope that I remember them. Slash you, my beloved. Oh my god. The one with the wings? Okay, do you mean the Fairytopia series? Or do you mean like a newer one? Do you mean like the uh, the two Mariposa movies? There are many ones with wings in them. <laughs> oh, I'm starving. Oh, this makes this process much harder, doesn't it? Fairytopia. Okay, Fairytopia is a series with three movies. You need to... <laughs> One movie, please. Or I can explain the entirety of the trilogy if you want. Ah! It's fine, I'm speedy. I'm swift. They'll never see me coming. Yeah, there's three of them! 
Oh, don't like that creeper noise. Oh, I think that skeleton is shooting. Yeah, okay. So the Fairytopia movies are objectively the best ones. I will fight you on this. Uh, the second one is the best one, Mermaidia. Because it has the hot mermaid in it who makes everyone realize that they're a lesbian. <laughs> um, so yeah, the first one about um, the fairy. You have the second one about the fairy and you have the third one about the fairy. And then you have Mariposa, which is an offshoot, which is technically in the same universe, but about a different fairy. And then they remade, they did like a sequel to it, but kind of remade it like a few years later in the new engine, and it was kind of shit. Uh, we will start with the first Fairytopia, my beloved. Um, you have main character Coon, which is Barbie. I don't remember her name. <laughs> She's, um, uh, she's like a, she's a fairy, but she was born without wings. Shock of shocks. So all the other fairies bully her for having no wings. Cause she's, she doesn't have wings and that's so, haha. -ha. Yeah, they bully her for having no wings. But she, oh, fucking hi, Jesus. Um, <laughs> she has a, she has a best friend, who is a fairy, who I think is orange. I think her color palette is orange. And she has the flower that she sleeps in, which is called Peony. I remember Peony. Um, and she has a, an animal sidekick, which is not an animal, it's called a puffball. And his name is Bibble and he is the best fucking character in the entire f Barbie universe. He deserved so much. Bibble is the entire reason why the rest of the movies after that they had shitty animal companions that were trash. But that man was the best. I loved him. Bibble Supremacy. He's so good. But yeah, so she's sad and being bullied and it's sad or whatever. Like all the other fairies are like, haha, you have no wings. Lol. <laughs> It's a tall tower. A tall task. Bibble, my beloved! He's such a good dude! Um, and in the first movie, um, uh, something happens. I don't remember. Something sets off the plot. I think the rainbow fairies go missing. You know them? <laughs> the rainbow fairies? Um, uh, there's an inciting incident. I remember what it is. I think some flowers are wilting. I don't know. <laughs> but they have to go to her and her plucky sidekicks have to go to the rainbow fairy of their area, which is the blue one. I think her name is like literally just like Azul or something like that. Like her name means blue. But she is the blue fairy, so there are hijinks because she has to walk there and not fly because she doesn't have wings. That's that's the main plot point. We gotta remember she doesn't have wings and she has to walk there and it's a huge difficult obstacle for her to surmount. And she goes there and she's like, yo, all the other rainbow fairies are like missing or whatever. Wait, no, no, no. She goes there and she finds that she's, like, guarded by guards and they have to, um... Fucking... What do they have to do? They have to, like, sneak past the guards. They have an entire stealth mission. And then they get into her house and she's having tea and I think she gives Bibble tea as he deserves. What a good lad! <laughs> Um, I completely forgot what I was saying. Bibble got tea. What a good lad. Um, and then he, they were talking over tea and she gives, I think it's Alina. I think her name is, I think the main character's name is Alina. She gives Bobby a, a little necklace. It's like a little butterfly necklace. She's like, keep that safe while I go do cool, cool girl shit. And then she gets kidnapped. <laughs> Uh, 
I don't remember what they do. Um... Wait, the inciting incident was that people s started losing their ability to fly. I'm bad. They were like losing their ability to fly. Um, <laughs> like the fairies will stop being able to fly. So Alina was like, I've always not fly. My legs strong. Let's go. And she did. She just fucking went. And then after that, um, <sighs> they had to go to the evil girl's place. The Enchantress. I don't think she was called that. Laverna! Laverna, my beloved. She's the evil chick. The fuck? <laughs> I can't. Yeah, I can fucking. Yep. <laughs> I had to permit the term get fucked suckers. <laughs> yeah. No, she has to go to the like the swamp, wherever that the evil chick lives. <laughs> um no, I don't do that. Give. And uh I don't know. I don't remember why, but she does go. She's like, it's time to walk, bitches. And she leaves her orange friend behind because her orange friend's like, I'm coming! And then she loses her ability to fly. And Alina's like, You're weak, bitch! I'm strong! Go home! I'll do it! And she does. To be fair, to, to her credit, she fucking does. So, good on her. Where's my axe gone? Oh yeah, it broke. I kind of want it. That can be tall enough. Um, yeah, and there's like a whole movie full of arduous adventures of her going to the evil places, please. Oh yeah, also the evil chick is like sisters to... I think it's the enchantress, like the, the fairy queen lady. And she's also kidnapped. Forgot to mention that. <laughs> um... Do I have wood? I can make wood. I'm a good boy. Um, yeah, they go to the evil chick's place. Um, I aggressively do not remember this. <laughs> yeah, of course. I aggressively do not remember this movie. But they get there, they go to the evil place with the evil lady at it, and, um, the evil lady's like, haha. Wait, she- I think she's grilling the blue fairy, cause she's like, Bitch, where's your fucking necklace? I can't take over the world if I don't have your necklace. What the hell, dude? Give me your necklace. This is so rude. And she's like, I will never. <laughs> I am- I am simply too cool for school. I will never give you my necklace. And she's like, dude, what the fuck? I just want to rule the world, please? Excuse me? This is so rude. And then a bitch face with the necklace comes walking in and she's like, oh, perfect timing. Oh, give me that necklace. And she... <laughs> I don't remember this conversation. She's like, no, you're evil. Stop. Put an end to your evil tirade, bitch. And she's like, ah, but see, if you give me that necklace, I will give you wings. And she, like, magics a pair of, like, gross, like, green wings on her. And Alina is like, wings? Oh my god? I- mm? Mm? Wings? You- you- You make a fantastic point! <laughs> and... Something... Happens... And like at the last minute, she's like, no, bitch, I would never. I'm too cool for school. And I uh, think she throws something at a thing and breaks it. And uh, that does something. <laughs> I haven't watched that first movie in a really long time. And it like it, it, re it releases like I'm pretty sure the Enchantress is in a bubble that was keeping her from being a bitch. And she just broke it. And then Laverna's like, No! Why? 
Because her sister, like, ganks her to death. <laughs> and she gets, um, she gets banished to the extra gross swamp. Because she's, no one likes her. That's the reason <laughs> she gets banished to the extra gross swamp. That's how the movie ends. Oh yeah, no, and then the Entrantress is like, Barbie, you're so cool. I know this movie was about people who- This was movie was coded to be about people with disabilities. Oh. <laughs> I know this movie was coded to be about people with disabilities overcoming and not needing to be fixed, but in the last five seconds, I will fix your disability. Have some wings. That, that, she's a wingless fairy! Yes! <laughs> yes, it was about disability the whole time. I regret to inform you. It was a kind of, like, ableist message. <laughs> I'm gonna put a bed there. Um... <laughs> And so now she has a necklace from the Enchantress that gives her wings and also she's the coolest and most pretty and special girl around. Movie 2! Um, oh fuck, I forgot. In the middle of adventuring in movie 1, we learned that mermaids exist and they live. They're, they're here. And also she kind of has a look with the like the prince of the mermaids. She's like, mm, and he's like, mm. <laughs> you know, they lip bite at each other, you know. I can't believe. Um, all of Dream SMP are going live to steal my viewers specifically. I can't believe they would do this. No, um, maybe to Mermadia. Um... Alina living her best life. She is living it up. She is besties with the High Rainbow Council. Besties with the Enchantress. Still besties with, um... <laughs> What's her face? The orange chick and Peony. And... And... Bibble, my beloved. He's still here. He's still carrying. If you ever want to look up Fucking go on YouTube and find like Bibble edits of all the movies. They're all great. <laughs> They're all so good. But um, fuck. What was it? Yeah, she receives word. Um, there's like this weird, gross fairy. <laughs> Her model looks so gross and weird. Um, that comes to town and she's like, "Hey, you Alina?" And she's, oh, she annoys Bibble first, and then she goes, "Hey, you Alina?" And Alina's like, "Yeah, yeah, I am." And then she's like, um, so the mermaid prince has been kidnapped. Please help. And then they go to like the cove where the mermaids are. And you know who they meet there? Um, I think her name is Cora. A female mermaid. Oh boy, she's pretty. And she's a bitch. She doesn't want to have anything to do with Alina. She can save the prince all on her own. She doesn't need Alina. But Alina's like, fuck you, I'm helping. We need to find the prince. Uh, cut to Laverna, who's being like, I don't know, evil in the corner. She's got like a little, like a little comp, like makeup compact that she's FaceTiming her minions on. And her minions are spectacularly like failing. <laughs> So she screams at them a lot through the movie. They are here. They have kidnapped the prince, oh boy. Um, cut back to Alina and the bitch. My beloved. Oh, I love her. <laughs> I don't know why all my favorite female characters are like bitches, but I love them all so much. Um... <laughs> they... There's like a shit ton of trials they have to go on, I think. No, the mermaid fairies. They have to go to the mermaid fairies to get a prophecy to be like, yo, what the fuck? Where, what do we need? How do we do it? So they go to the mermaid fairies, which, um, 
You have to- Oh, that's a creeper. Please don't like that. Um, you have to be invited in to, like, get a prophecy from them. And so Bibble does his thing. Woos them. And they drag him upstairs so they can feed him to his little heart's content. Because man is hungry. <laughs> Please get in the water. Okay, now you can explode. Hell yeah. These bar movies I don't even really remember, so. Yeah, so they go to the fairy. They're like the. Like the they're like mermaids, but they're also fairies and they live above water. And also, it's a thing that Alina is like, sucks at swimming because she's not a mermaid, she's a fairy. I don't know how she's allowed underwater because her wings would like be all gross and swell, but like, we're glossing over that. The plot glosses over it, so I'm glossing over it too. I should not be holding my lighter. Where's my armor? Ayo? Where are my pants? Um. So they get a prophecy and they're like, hey, you need to collect this, this, and this to complete your quest. And they have to go to. Where the fuck is my stuff? Yes, draw something. They have to go down to like the sea floor and find this snail lady and get something from her. And there's another riddle, something something. And they solve it by being like, Hey yo, snail lady, what's in your shell? <clears throat> and what's in her shell was a uh, f- wait, what? But no, you stream. You know, um... Where are my shoes? Uh, inside the snail lady's shell was another prophet person who gives them a little riddle. And the riddle's like something something. They also give her like a string of pearl necklaces that's like, if you ever need to, you can wish on this, this necklace and it will change your wings into a tail. And she's like, oh, I don't want to do that. I earn these fair and square, bitch. Like, why would I do that? I spent a whole movie to get these. I'm not gonna change them. I feel cool as hell with them. Why would I do that? And she's like, dude, it was just an option. You don't need to be so mean. <laughs> and then... Oh, I'm down here. I'm gonna grab this. They have to go, like, the bottom, bottom of the ocean to a trench that's, like, super spooky. It's like so spooky. Um, cause like, it's like the pit of death or whatever. And you go down, everyone who's gone down there fucking dies because it's too spooky. <laughs> so they go down there and they realize, oh fuck, it really is a, s <laughs> it really is a spooky, spooky trench, huh? And one of them gets captured by seaweed. It was the mermaid and Alina is like, I can't swim fast enough to get you out. Oh no. So in a life or death decision, she wishes on the little string of pearls to, ch to change her wings into a tail and then she helps her and then they get the thing they need. I don't remember what the thing they need. But they got it all right. And she felt, there's like a longing moment where she's sad because she doesn't have her wings anymore. She has a tail. But they continue on. And there are periodic cuts in the movie to the evil sides, like, to the evil, like, to the evil people being evil. And there's... <laughs> it's great. I love those moments because it's just the prince dicking around with them. I love that. Um, they have to go to... What's the other one? What's the other trial thing they have to do? It's like, um... Fuck, what do they have to do? Oh, they have to go through like this like cave with like volcanic vents in it to get a berry that I think it's for Alina because it like reveals the shape of your true self or whatever. The true shape of your true self or something like that. 
Yeah, and then, um, so they have a fun little adventure where they race to get through it, and it was a really nerve wracking race because they could have fucking died very easily. And then they left Bibble in the middle and have to go, had to go back for Bibble. Spooky. Enderman being spooky in the distance. Bibble almost died was great. 10 out of 10. Um. <laughs> Not 10 out of 10 for Bibble. Um, fuck. And they got the berry. They got a lot of berries. They got a berry that makes... No, they... No, what? No, at the other end of it is where all the berries are. And they get a berry that makes um, Bibble able to sing opera. And then also Bibble... There's also one that gives Bibble like a really deep voice. And then like, Bibble, what happened to you? That's great. <laughs> I need to figure out the radius to this circle, oh, but I'm not gonna, because I'm a little shit. So don't worry about that. So yeah, they have all the berries. They got the berries. They got... They have to go get the prince now. They know where the prince is, they need to get him. And they, um, go to the place where he is, because he got all tied up. Above water, because he's dying. Cause he's a mermaid and they can't be above water so he's like dying or whatever that's fine but they have to get him because he's like dying a little bit inside <laughs> what is the radius of the circle one two three four five six ew one two three four five six seven i will get the thingy up I will get the circle maker up. Give me my circle guide. Um, and they have a whole thing where Bibble has to sing opera to distract the guys. Oh, I think it's 14. Okay, I have to go 14. They have a whole scene where Bibble has to distract the guards with his opera voice so they can get to him. Um, one, two, three, four, five. What the fuck? One, one, two, three, four, five, six. 12. Oh! That is the wrong number. Okay, um. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. That's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's. What the fuck? Wait. What have I done? How did I fuck this up so badly? Um. Get rid of these. There we go. That's it. That's what the circle is. It's that. That's a circle. Okay, yeah. Um, and they have a whole death of fine thing and they get the prince back. And they swap out the berry. The bad guys had a berry, I think. They swapped it with another one. Is that why they wanted to get the berry? Because they needed a berry? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, dude. I should make this bigger. Let's go... Three blocks? So that's six. That's 17. Okay. Oh. Uh, I didn't put my bed down! Remind me when I run back to put the bed I made down, please. Okay. Yeah, they got the berry. They, they swapped the berry, so the bad guys now have a different berry. And they got the prince. So, uh, net gain, 100. And uh, the evil guys didn't notice. 
Wait, I think they kidnapped the prince to get the berry. She wanted the berry. Oh! The evil chick wanted the berry because the, sh the berry would make them all powerful and they swapped it for another berry that reveals your true self. And then the evil chick eats the berry and her true self is a turd. She turns into a turd at the end. I think then... Wait, no, and then Alina turns back into a fairy because I think she also ate the true self berry. And she gets a different colored, like a different design of wings. She has a different pair of wings because they so they can sell more dolls. Obviously. Third movie! I remember what this one the most because I did watch it the most recently. Um, Alina is just so cool and popular. She's like a celebrity. Um, that the Enchantress herself- Oh my fucking god, can I please get this? They did not- they banished her. They, she's still banished to the gross swamps. But she's just a toad now. But you know, she went to the- She's just so popular and the Enchantress like meets her in person and is like, Hey, I want you to come to this thing I'm doing. Come to this thing, I- Wait, was it the Enchantress? No, it wasn't the Enchantress. It was the Blue Fairy. The Blue Fairy is like, you, I choose you for this thing we're doing. And she's like, thing you're doing? What? And it's a, it's a ceremony that they do that was definitely established in the other two movies to, to bring the start of spring. The fairies have to do this every year to bring the spring, to bring spring. And so, but all the, like, rainbow fairies, the, the high council of rainbow fairies, they're getting, like, old and grody and gross. So they want to, they're going to train apprentices to do it. They're not going to do it this year, but they're going to start training apprentices so they know how to do it just in case the rainbow council fucking dies or whatever. So it's the, the Rainbow Fairy Academy. And all the apprentices have really cool designs. Uh, they don't. My favorite apprentice designs is the blue one with like the crescent moon wings. I love her design. She's just so pretty. I also love the sunburst fairy. She's so pretty. She's also a bitch. I have a type. It's a very pretty women who are bitches. That's it. That's <laughs> she. Yeah. But like Alina gets there day one with Bibble. Bibble's here and carrying. That's what he's doing. Does Bibble- Are Bibble's shoulders so sore for carrying the entire fucking franchise on them? Um, but yeah, they go to this thing. And Alina is just so well-loved and so stuff that when she gets to the place, she just is so, like, a fish out of water and bullied because all the people there are like, Alina, you're so stuck up. Fuck off. And she's like, but I'm not. I'm just famous and saved the world twice. Ah! <laughs> Why did they hate her? I'm pretty sure it was that. Um. And then there's like a whole incident at the start where she doesn't know which dorm is hers. So she starts going into people's dorms to be like, hey, is this mine? And the other people in the dorms are like, fuck off. You know, rightfully, someone just randomly entered their house. And the Sunset Fairy, this is where we get her introduction as the, like, the bitch. Like, the evil person. You know. Oh, I totally forgot earlier, when she, like, flew over, she met another dude who is the love interest to him. Because he's, like, nice and likes horses. Except it was not a horse. It was a weird, like, magic horse. It looked like a My Little Pony imposed into real life, and it was weird. I don't know what the fuck that creature was, but it, it terrified me. <laughs> and, um... Yeah, he was introduced. I think he's here, too. <laughs> I... He literally doesn't get any more, like, character development beyond that one time he helped a horse because it was, like, sick and sad. I did it. And then, okay, and then we meet the evil bitch, and she's a bitch, and she's like, get the fuck out of my house. Rightfully. Also, she's like, uh, no one likes you and you're a stuck up bitch. Which, less rightful, but <laughs> I love her anyways. 
And then we meet the sidekick for this movie. She is like the best friend and she's like, hey, hi, I, 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 what's it called? Fucking, like they immediately become besties and also she has a, a puffball who is pink and has eyelashes and tits. Cause of course they do. And that's Bibble's love interest for the movie and it's terrifying and I hate it. Um, and also they bond over Bibble losing a tooth and he wants to see the tooth fairy so the tooth fairy is fast and he'll never see the tooth fairy. That's his subplot for the movie. He wants to see the tooth fairy. I think her name is Dizzle. The, the female Bibble. I think her name is Dizzle. <laughs> it's like... Yeah. What did I... I added three, right? Epic circle math. Um... Two, three. And then... Uh, they start epic class montage. They're doing class things. Also, Laverna is here. I forgot to mention that. She's back. Oh boy. She's kicking around to doing evil people things. Don't, don't you worry about that. What, Dizzle? Did you Google Dizzle? Um, did it. <laughs> I think it's that. Yeah, she's terrifying. I hate her. <laughs> what the fuck? Um. Oh, I need another two. That's what the fuck? Wait, what the fuck? Wait, what the fuck? Wait, what the fuck? What the what? 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 what, what, what? Wait a minute. What the f- what? Wait a minute. What? Why is this math wrong? Uh. Huh? Huh? Okay, no. I c What the fuck? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eighteen, nineteen. What? How did I get that wrong? Okay, that would be why I got it wrong. Anyways, knowing the fact that I'm an idiot. Um. How did I do that math? So fucking wrong. Uh, uh, epic training montage. They're at fairy school, alright. And then it's... What? Wait... What the fuck? Two. One. One. What the fuck? Wait. Two. One. One. Two. Two. Eh. Oh, it's three. Yay! Center. One, two, three. Yep, okay. Okay, 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 okay. I did it. I've done the math. I'm so smart. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Um, but then, yeah. Um, epic class montage. Um, it really is. They just kind of go to magic school. And the bitch is being a bitch. Laverna is still here and thriving. Oh boy, she's still here and still thriving. Um. <laughs> oh boy. Uh. Yeah, there's um. 
There's like just a whole montage of things they have to do with the ceremony. One, two, three. What the fuck? Oh, this has to go out one more. That's I'm an idiot. Okay. And that's all. What the fuck? Wait. That's three, two, one, one, two. How did I mess this up so badly? What's wrong here? Why is it wrong? Why is this circle wrong? What the fuck did I- okay. Okay, this is the center block. This is the center block. Uh huh, I went three out. And from this center block here, I'll go three out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's 9 and 9, which is 18, which is 19. I have it set for 19 as the diameter. Diameter. So why is this wrong? <laughs> Wait a minute. Why is it wrong? How did I do this math so badly? Wait, what? I'm gonna keep going. Because it's kind of working and hope that it works. Wait, I'm just gonna, um, look, I'm gonna put this up to three. It's, uh, because this is wrong. This has to go here. That's wrong. It's an extension of this part. This part is the same. Except, wait, no, this is wrong. It has to go out three from the center. Wait a fucking minute. Wait a fucking minute. I think I figured out what's wrong. That's two. Two. One. One. At. One. One. Two, one block here, one block here. What the fuck is wrong? How the f- how- what the fuck? Oh, wait, what? Center. That goes out three from the center. That goes- Okay, that fixed it! I did it! Um... One, two, three. I did it. Okay, I figured out what was wrong. I'm so smart. Um. <laughs> what was I talking about? Um, school montage. She's being a bitch. At some point, Laverna comes into like starburst or whatever her name's the bitch's room and she's like wait no before that no no no, 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 no. um laverna comes to the forest where the nice guy is love interest guy remember him he likes saving animals well there's a hurt frog innocently innocently in the forest needs to be healed and alina as established that I didn't say before, doesn't have very good control of her magic. So she's like, I could heal this frog. Oh. 
<laughs> I could heal this frog. So she does it. She tries that shit. And it works! Guess what? The frog was Laverna. Now Laverna is free. And not cursed forever to be a frog. Um, and she's like, bye, bitch. And so Alina is like, Oh fuck, I just released Smyrna, and we need to tell the teachers. Fuck! And I don't think they tell the teachers. Wait, they do tell the teachers. So the the people, the like Rainbow Squad, are like on guard now. And that's when Laverna sneaks into Star Bitch's room. Like the sun bitch's room and um is like get ganked and then she makes her sleep forever and becomes her. <laughs> she just takes that bitch's body and it's like, yep, that's mine now. It's stolen. Um no I need to have that on me. <laughs> and oh I totally forgot. Sun fairies can't get wet. That was established earlier. I forgot to say it. So she puts that stop. She puts that sun fucking fairy at the bottom of a river. That bitch is in a lake now. She can't, and she continues on. And Barbie realizes that star bitch isn't her because she's actually being nice to her. No, wait, no. They become friends because Laverne is like. Starbitch Star starts being nice to her and she's like, that's kind of weird. Love that we're friends now. And Laverna is like, yeah, love that for us. So they're friends now. And then Horror of Horrors, the rainbow squad of, like, the asshats, suddenly gets- ah! I'm traumatized. <laughs> I'm traumatized? <laughs> okay. And then Star Bitch. And then Hawk Shock of Horrors. The Rainbow Squad of Asshats. Um, they start getting sick and like going into comas. So this very convenient squad of apprentices they trained have to bring spring. Because they're fucking dead or whatever, I don't know. They're like being poisoned. I think. So it's springtime, baby! So all the lessons they've been learning to spring it is coming into the action. They're springing it up. Excuse me, sir. Please leave. Um, so they do the thing. It's spring. Also, if they fail to do it, Spring will die forever, and then they'll be in eternal grossness for, like, forever. For, like, ten years. <laughs> so they can't fuck it up! They're not allowed to fuck it up, like, legally. So they do it, and they start doing it, and, like, they- There's, like, the, the, the first bloom. There's, like, a little bloom, and they have to make it bloom. Oh, that's a really- Huh. I don't realize how big that was. Eh. It's not gonna be- that's just like because there'll be a balcony on it. That's fine. I'll figure it out. So this is really big like flower bud that they have to make like bloom. And that'll be the first bloom of spring and that'll bring spring. So they, they get on that and then in the middle of it star bitch is like haha. Only to Alina. I think it's only to Alina. She's like, haha, not. I am actually Laverna, fuck you. And Alina's like, ah, shit. That's where Laverna went. So she has to go find the real sun fucker. <laughs> so they have to, like, leave the preparations. I don't know why no one says anything when they do. So they go and get the real sun fucker. She's in a river. She's not doing too great. She's quite upset about the fact that she was in a river. And she's like, I hate you, Alina, but we need to actually have spring. So let's work together. And they come back and they're like, you're not the real sun, bitch. You're Laverna. 
And she's like, yeah, bitch, what of it? And the enchantress is like, Lavanna, please, you're embarrassing me. Come on. <laughs> um, yeah, so the enchantress is like, Laverna, please, don't interrupt spring. We need that. And Laverna's like, I won't interrupt spring if you come and stand calmly inside this pre-prepared prison that takes away all your magic. Please do it. And then she does it, and then Laverne is like, ha, psych. I'm killing Spring, fuck you. <laughs> and then, um, the rest of the fairies are like, ah, fuck. So, Alina tries to, because in the first movie they killed Laverna by shooting rainbows at her. So uh, Alina is like, I believe in myself. I am a rainbow bitch. And they did this in the last movie and like in the first movie I can do it now so she that's wrong so she tries to do it and then all of the other people that fucking hated her at the start of class were like we believe in you Alina and they and cause like she starts failing and they're like no we'll back you up and then they fire rainbows into her and then she rainbows all the way into Laverna and then Laverna fucking dies and the Enchantress is released from her bubble, and Alina gets another pair of wings and a new outfit to sell more toys! And then they bring Spring. And that's that's the end. We have a we have a thing now though. I don't have any logs to bring this up, so. Dumb move on my part. <laughs> That's the end. <laughs> I should really get like a bucket of water so I can... <laughs> oh yeah, dude. You think they didn't specifically change her outfit every movie to make sure? Dude, fucking Mermadia had, um... Her toy could change from her like fairy form to her mermaid form. Shit like that. Barbie toys popping back in the day. I used to love Mariposa because I had the Mariposa Barbie and then I lost it forever and I'm so sad. Anyways, Mariposa slaps because Barbie isn't voiced by Barbie's actual voice actor in that one. She's voiced by the voice actor that did the voice of... I said voice too many times. But yeah, she... Her voice is the person who was the like the bitch mermaid back in the day and I'm like, oh fuck, I love that. Yeah, Mamadia. The Mamadia doll was good. There we go. Um. Oh wait, no, I need to get logs as well. I should be replanting these, but I'm not, so that's fun. <laughs> Come back and see. Yeah. Back in the day when like dolls were kind of quality at least, now they're trash. Like Barbie dolls are so trash nowadays. I feel bad for the kids that have to play with them. Oh, there's a fish. Um, yeah, that's the plot of all three fairy movies. <laughs> I haven't watched any like super recently, so I don't know how well I could do the other ones. Cause like all the old ones, it used to be they did like all the classic ballets, cause they could have the dancing bar Barbies then, and then they started transitioning to their own stories with like Fairy Topia and stuff. And it was really marketable because those stories were good. And now the Barbie movies nowadays are shit. I should make a bucket and get water so I can get up there easier. I have strong opinions on Barbie movies. Swan Lake, I loved. But like, it looks so bad. You like go back and you look at it and you're like, wow, this was actually kind of trash. The fucking dramatic scene of her dying when he confesses his love to the wrong Odette. 
It's so, it's like so dramatic, but also so not. Ah, uh, I have never seen that. Nah. I think the only one of the classic movies I haven't seen is Princess and the Pauper because no streaming site, no like pirate site has it. And it makes me very sad because that's like one of the good ones. I don't love Barbie movies for their <laughs> impeccable quality. Dude, Island Princess was my favorite and that one is like objectively the sh like the worst one. It's so bad, but I loved it so much. Nice thick floor. <laughs> Dude, oh my god, I can totally send you a website. Actually, no, if you just look up, like, Bar watch Barbie movies online. There is a website dedicated to princess and Barbie movies. You can just like get them all there. I love that website so much. It has the all of them. Because of course it does. Uh, actually, I mean, you should never pirate anything. It hurts, um, movie makers' hearts. It makes them very sad. You should never pirate anything. Definitely not off the pirate sites I tell you to pirate them from. Definitely don't do that. It's also against the law, I think. <laughs> you sh definitely shouldn't do it. I would never. I am a fine, upstanding citizen that has never done anything like that in my life. I always follow the law. Oh god. Why does my music run out? It could be one. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me? I want to get back up there. I can't believe the audacity. But yeah, um, dude, Bobby movies are so fucking good. I love watching them, because it's like, it's so rare. Because <clears throat> they're like the rarest form of movie, where it is entirely, like, none of it is for the male gaze. It's all for the female gaze. It's all for the female gaze, if you know what I'm saying. No, but, um, like, it doesn't pass the reverse Bechdel test, which I find fucking hilarious. I just think they girl bossed so hard that they don't realize that we're only now realizing how prolifically they girl boss. The Bechtel test is, um, it's a kind of, I don't remember who made it. I assume someone named Bechtel, but it's a test to see, um, it's kind of like a shorthand for how, 
Okay, what the test specifically tests is, um, it has two criteria. It is, um, that your movie has... It turned to ice! Oh, it turned to ice! That's why. Um... That you're- uh, I forgot the first one. It's like your movie have at least, like, two female characters. And those two female characters have to have a conversation that isn't about men. That's all it takes to pass the Bechdel test. Cause- And it's like a- like a shorthand for how good the movie is at doing the feminism. Like a- like, if a film does not pass the Bechdel test, it's definitely not gonna have good female rep, you know? But there is also the reverse Bechdel test, which is for men. It has at least- the movie has at least two male characters, and they talk about something that isn't the female protagonist. And no Barbie movie has passed the fucking reverse Bechdel test! And I love that! I love that for Barbie! <laughs> Please stop. Excuse me, sir. I don't appreciate this. As it should. <laughs> yeah. I just love how it was entirely made. Oh, bye, potato. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out. Um, those movies are entirely made for little girls and they are not fucking messing around. They know who their audience is, and they are catering. Goodbye, potato. Ah! My tower is a little wet, don't worry. God fucking damn it! My water keeps getting iced. to talk about now because I'm a little fool. Oh, it's spawning stuff up here. That's not good. Have a little nap. It's nap time. I'm not dealing with this. It is time for sleep. Okay, um, we need the stone. Uh, that's not the one I clicked. Oh, God. <clears throat> No! Why is he shaking? Ooh! You dropped iron. How lovely. Mm. What thoughts am I thinking? What thoughts do I have locked to my little pea brain? Vampires? I might have vampires in there. I'm unsure about that. Why does that sound so southern? I'm not sure about that. 
Um, I don't know. I'm, well, I can speak for hours, but the minute I get on stream, I'm like, I just stop being able to. I should, but I'm a fool, so I'm not gonna. I will trust my luck. Like the idiot I am. Do I have any spare touches? I have spare coal. Hmm. Free coal. I need to put torches up there anyways because shit keeps spawning. No! 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 God damn it! <coughs> Fuck! Oh, the immediate hubris of my actions. Ah! This isn't even a snow biome. Why does it keep getting iced? Go up, go up, go up. There we go. Hmm. I don't know what to talk about. Usually I have thoughts, but right now I just, I got none. I spent all my thoughts um, not thinking them while I was making muffins at 4 a.m. Which I didn't even eat because I felt nauseous and I didn't want to eat them. I should, but also, uh, no. <laughs> On the principle of no, I'm not gonna. Why the fuck did I think that? Um, okay. I thought that was a zombie and it was not. It was just the water. I'm an idiot. I'm a tiny little fool with a little pea brain. <sighs> I have s no thoughts. Head empty. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm gonna make a little house bit on top of this, and a little balcony that you can look over, and then on top of that, big hat. Put a big hat on the big thing, and then big light to make it a lighthouse. That's my plan of action. How the fuck am I gonna do this? <sighs> How am I gonna do this? I might need more stone bricks. I could make it fences, that could work. Um, I just need more. 
I'm just gonna need like way more wood and stuff. Especially since I'm gonna make the hat that goes on this. Thing. Why? Why have you not decayed? I've been forgetting to replant the saplings. I've been forgetting to replant the saplings. I'm a fool. I'm a little idiot. I'm gonna murder a man. Good. I don't know how I'm getting the horse over here. I should move my pets over, but I'm gonna wait till I have a finished tower before I do that. It looks ominous. I love it. I don't think that's enough wood. I think we need more wood than that. <clears throat> I don't know what to talk about. I don't know why my brain is just like stalling, but it is. Trying to think thoughts, and my th my brain is like, no, 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 no. You ain't allowed to think. One TikTok audio. One. Oh. <laughs> it kind of smells like a barker. It's that. It's, that's what all my thoughts are. It's that. I can't even do it, right? It's my voice. It's fucked. God damn it. Make it this a bit smaller so I can make the hat this big. <laughs> so I don't remember the number 19 for me. I need that. I'm gonna shave this in a little. Oh. Where did I die? Where did I die? Thank you guys, I love you guys. <coughs> Oh. 
I don't know why my thoughts are entirely just that. That's all, that's all my thoughts. It's all- I have no thoughts, only that. Only that one TikTok audio. <laughs> This is still a reasonable size circle, and I want to use what the original size was for the hat. <coughs> um, actually. I got it. I'm good. I'm the best. I'm so good at the video game. Ah, can I come back? You know what I want to do? I need to... I need to get money. Because I want to get like a bunch of games that I've always wanted to play and like play them on stream. Like while I learn how to play them. Like, Night in the Woods I want to play. I've had me- uh, like, one of my best friends has been trying to force me to play that game forever. And I couldn't because I was a burk bitch. So. I could do that. I could also do, um... I have like a whole list on my phone, I'm pretty sure. I want to play Portal on stream. I want to learn how to do that because I'm a dumb bitch and I think it would be funny. I funny to watch me struggle. <coughs> Why? Okay, um games would I want to play? I wanted to play Nier Automata because Nier Automata is such a good game. It's so good. I love it. Okay. I want to force uh, Ethan to play Kingdom Hearts because he fucking hates me. Hey, I love Kingdom Hearts. It's like my f it's one of my favorite game series. Um, Like I love the lore of it. Never played a game. Never played a game in my life. I think he'd like it because the combat's really good. Because, you know. Liking Kingdom Hearts and liking playing Kingdom Hearts are two very different hobbies. Like, liking the lore of Kingdom Hearts and liking the combat of Kingdom Hearts are very different hobbies. You can like both, but, like, you have to like them differently. <laughs> so I've only ever, like, I just do full on like just watch all the cutscenes do all the lore I've never actually played the games so I think it'd be funny 
if I actually play the games. I think that would be very funny. So I think it would be funny if I force Ethan to do it because he hates... He hates... <laughs> he fucking hates those games. Because I keep talking about them. And he doesn't want to know. But I'm like, consider this is my hyperfixation. You are learning about these games. That man knows more, like, lore, like, Kingdom Hearts lore than he really sh wants to know. And it's great. I love it. It's so funny. Ah. Ah. I need to crack my back. Ah. I also want to play like like the classics. I want to play Majora's Mask. I probably. <laughs> Ow. I probably wanna, um, I wanna get like an emulator and play like a bunch of the classic N64 games. And also a bunch of the Pokemon games, because I love them. I love that for them. Like, I wanna play like the original Pokemon Platinum, because that game is so good. Diamond and Pearl were the generation I was, like, brought into Pokemon, so, like, I kind of want to play them again, but I know Diamond is trash, so I'm gonna probably only play Platinum, which is, like, the better version, because it's that but fixed. There's, like, a ton of other games I want to play. What games do you want me to play? What do you think will be fun on stream? I want to play that game I keep seeing ads for, where it's like, it's like a cut. <laughs> <coughs> it's like a cozy game, and you are like helping spirits, I think. And there's a lot of it's really pretty art, and you hug a lot of people. And I've seen ads for it everywhere. Apparently it's really good and I want to play it because it looks cute. Um, I'll play Hollow Knight on stream. Fuck, I love Hollow Knight. Oh my god, I love Hollow Knight. It's such a good game. I'm just so bad at it and I'll probably be even worse because oh boy, I have not played that game in a long time. Hi! I'm talking about games I want to play on stream. Yeah, I want to play like Hollow Knight again. I never actually finished Hollow Knight. A lot of games I play, I never like fight the final boss because I want to do everything in the game. And like by the time I'm like getting all the extra achievements, I've lost interest. So I never actually f play games to like the final boss. What is Big Blue Hat? Hollow Knight, my beloved. Hollow Knight, hold. Nope! Um. There was this game I saw in the app store, which was like a Hollow Knight adjacent game, and it looked very pretty, and I wanted to play it, but I do not remember what it's called for the life of me. <laughs> <coughs> oh, Perry wants to force me to play, like, teach me Genshin on stream. Perry wants to do that. I have never played Genshin before, so that'll be a fun experience. Oh, can I cash in my street crowd real quick? You know Saddest, the famous Saddest? Yeah, I was watching Saddest back when, um, she, question mark, was doing Hollow Knight animations. That's what I knew her from. By the way, go back and watch all her Hollow Knight animations. They are bomb as fuck. I could always go back. The one Gajinka one where it's, um, Hornet and the, and the White Lady. God, that's such a gorgeous one. I, I, I just, I'm so pretty.
fucking uh big blue hat. I'm gonna Google that real quick. That's a big blue hat. <laughs> hmm. Oh fuck, you got in, you like shaven in right in there. I cannot find it. Okay, hell yeah. Saddest, my beloved. Fucking <laughs> like the one like animatic of um, what's it? The, the like the one little corrupted knight that you fight, the infected one. And they did um like an animatic of like all the knights training. It's not animatic. It's like a full animation. I'm pretty sure. That was just so gorgeous. <laughs> I love it so much. I've never felt more like sad than watching that fucking animatic. Oh, it hurts. What games do I want to play? Um, yeah, I kind of want to do. <coughs> oh hell yeah. Um, I'm just gonna copy the circle. Oh hell yeah. You know, I wanna, I kinda wanna do a series that is just me going through and playing every Kingdom Hearts game. Cause I, I've never played them and I wanna play them. I wanna force Ethan to play them. <laughs> I wanna talk about Kingdom Hearts. The world won't let me talk about Kingdom Hearts, but it's all I wanna talk about. I just, I just wanna speak about Kingdom Hearts. It's all I have in my brain at all times. It's only Kingdom Hearts in there. It's all I got. I'm thinking thoughts, they're Kingdom Hearts thoughts. I will, I can and will make a Kingdom Hearts of you to force people to talk about it with me. I swear to God, I love Kingdom Hearts so much. I have never played a game of Kingdom Hearts. That's not true. I have played the DS games. I played Coded, uh, was it Recoded or Coded? And I played... Three, five, eight over two days. I'll do it. I'll fucking do it. World can't stop me. I'm too powerful. Y'all can make AUs while I'm asleep. I'll make an AU while everyone else is asleep. It'll be Kingdom Hearts. I'm gonna force everyone into knowing a Kingdom Hearts lore. <laughs> That's a circle. I've made a circle. <coughs> This is too low. No, no, wait, 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 wait. This is way too low. I need, okay, I need to make the little house and then have enough room for the big light. Oh. And then I need to put a roof on it. So the roof might be kind of high. What am I going to make the little house out of? <laughs> Dude, it's kind of like Goofy dies at some point. Goofy just fucking dies. And then Mi Mickey's response is like, I'm going to kill everyone because Goofy is dead. <laughs> I love that that's a canon fucking cutscene. <laughs> that's not how he dies. No. He doesn't actually die. It's like a fake out death where like Mickey thinks he's dead and then he, like he's like, no, he's not dead. Cause they can't kill Goofy. <laughs> but like, um, they're like in the Battle of a Thousand Heartless, which is at the end of Kingdom Hearts 2. 
I was like, I don't remember the reason. There's just a cutscene where a fucking boulder falls and Goofy saves Mickey and gets hit in the head and fucking dies. <laughs> and then like Sora and Donald are on the ground next to him. I'm like, this can't be happening. Goofy, no! And then Mickey's like, they'll pay for this! Rips off his cloak and goes and murders folks. It's great. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts, I love it so much. Like, n so much of Kingdom Hearts is like, like shit that's so goofy that they just play straight. Like, oh my god. No, it's not. That's not why Mink Mickey has an evil cloak. Don't make. I will explain Kingdom Hearts lore right here, right now. Do not test me. <laughs> but no, like, there's. If watch any cutscene from like. Pirates of the Caribbean world, S especially before Kingdom Hearts 3, the disparity is even worse then. Because you have like an anime main character next to Donald and Goofy, next to these like photorealistic models of Johnny Depp and stuff. Okay. I'm gonna- I need to- how the fuck- can you play it on PC? Cause uh, all I know is you, you can the consoles. I assume you can buy it like on Steam or whatever. Can you play Kingdom Hearts on PC? I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe. It's on PC. Oh, 1.5 and 2.5 Remix is on PC. At some point, I all I've seen it is in like disc forms. If I can buy it on PC, I will make it like a sub goal or whatever to buy the entirety of Kingdom Hearts, like the entire series, and then just like fucking, I'll do like a marathon stream where I play all of it back to back to back. <clears throat> That's like 10 games, Jesus. That's like, okay. Like, the cutscene movie for Kingdom Hearts, not including any of the gameplay, is like 36 hours. So that'd be a hell of a thing. I'll just, like, play Kingdom Hearts until it's finished. I'll just, like, keep going. <laughs> I do not remember the order, though. Like, I know it. I know the order. It's... <laughs> I'll, like, do a subathon, and it's just me playing the entirety of Kingdom Hearts. I cannot legally, like, in my heart of hearts, skip cutscenes. Like, on God, I cannot. <laughs> I'll, like, there'll be, like, a subathon. I'll, like, sleep in the middle of stream, and then I'll come back, and then we'll play more Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, like... A sub goal of like a hundred subs, and I'll play the entirety of Kingdom Hearts on stream. Hell yeah! Sure, why not? Let's do it. Um, fuck. I need to build a little house. <laughs> oh my god, mouse, please. <laughs> I, just, I, love it. I love King of Hearts so much. <clears throat> There's so much shit in Kingdom Hearts that I love. Most of the cutscenes I can just say word for word. Cause, you know. It'd probably be like an even longer, cause I'm like bad at video games, and that's a video game you have to like be good at to play. I have to play it on like easy and shit, cause I'm like so bad at video games.
would be fun. This would be great. <clears throat> oh god. I gotta get my phone and put that in like my notes up. Dear God, <laughs> me playing a video game that requires skill, yeah. I don't ha I'm I play video games for like a living. I'm not good at video games. I don't know how to play video games. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> I like I'm like dreading thinking about even playing it. <laughs> Hundred subs go. All Kingdom Hearts games. Okay, the problem is, I know the order the games are in, but I don't know the order the games that are available on PC to play. Because the thing about Kingdom Hearts is it gets re-released often, so like, Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, and like, I think the ones in between, which would be... Um... <sighs> Chain of Memories, uh, one point, uh, well, three third of two days, and uh, is it just those two? Yeah, those four were re-released re together as a set called One Point Five Remix, and I think <laughs> three third of two days was just cut out as a game and made like a cutscene story just on the disc, so you can just watch all the cutscenes. But like, oh god, I I'd have to like look it up to figure out <coughs> <coughs> how to do it. But like, fuck yeah, I'd do that. That sounds amazing. I'd have no idea how much it costs. Fuck, dude, it's gonna be probably gonna cost a lot. I might have to actually make that like instead of a sub goal, like an actual like a donor goal, <laughs> so I can actually have enough money to buy the games. But it's fine. This is fine. Everything is fine. Oh, fuck. <laughs> this is canon now. This is just a thing that's happening. Dude, I fucking want to draw a bee so badly with a keyblade. Oh, fuck. Give! Okay. Um, fuck. What are the games that I want to play? Portal. Ace Attorney! Oh my god, I want to play the entirety of Ace Attorney on stream! Because, oh boy, I don't remember any of the fucking plot points. <laughs> it's been so long. Like, I know them, but also, like, I don't. So, like, the finer, like, grittier points of the cases, I just won't know. And we're gonna struggle with them together. I think I have... I think you can, like, get them on emulator on PC. Because it's like a DS game, so of course there's probably an emulator of it somewhere. But I need to replay them all badly, because I love them. I fucking- I love the Ace Attorney games. Ah, I'm out of wood. Ah, oh, fuck. I kind of, like, really want to fall asleep. I'm not meant to be sleepy. I need to stay awake as long as possible before going to sleep. It's only like 9am. I'm failing so terribly of my goal. So funny. I just I I love my game. I love my game full of gay lawyers. <laughs> I love my gay lawyer simulator. There are so many games I love that like because the way I usually experience games is because I I don't have money ever. 
I don't play games, so I go through like like cutscene movies and watch all the stories of games. So going back to like all my old favorites and like actually playing them as video games would be so much fun. Cause like I know them, I know them in and out. I like I like had a PhD in Kingdom Hearts lore at some point. But like actually playing the game, I fail so badly. Oh god, no. I mean, we have a tower now. We did it. <laughs> Why are there so many creepers? Why are there so many creepers? Hmm. I want to place the entire that outer layer there with stairs. To give it that nice gentle in. But that looks pretty good. I like that. <clears throat> yeah, I really like that. I like how it's coming along. games I want to play. I don't know, I want to buy a thing so I can stream games from my Switch. Like a capture card? Afternoon. I want to wanna buy it, buy that guy. Buy a little guy like that. You know, those dudes. So I can play Switch games. Which I think would be very fun. And funky fresh of me. I have like two gaming consoles. I have the PC and my Switch. That's all I got. So, I think it would very be very cool if I could stream all the games I have on Switch. I also kind of want to get one for my DS because I have like a shit ton of DS games. Oh my god, I could play The World Ends With You on stream. I love The World Ends With You. I never finished it and I don't remember how it ends. So hell yeah, we could play The World Ends With You. There's like a new The World Ends With You game coming out. I'm uh, not coming out, it's already out. That we could totally play. Oh my god, it could be amazing. I think you can buy The World Ends With You on Switch right now. Not right now. I don't know if it's still a thing that you can do. But I think they re-released it on Switch, so that could be extra sexy. Oh, I love The World Ends With You. <laughs> it's so good. I love it so much. We Excuse me? No. Carlbot, I don't have time for you. I care not for your shenanigans. For your shenaniganery. so many stairs. Oh, I have to cut down so many trees. I want like a million more stairs. I want to cover everything in stairs. I want stairs. I want stairs. Where 
Where's the guy? Where's the dude? Where's the guy? There he is, the dude. I've done it. I'm so smart. Hmm. I feel like I'm being like boring because I, uh, I have no thoughts. Head empty. Where's the guy? Oh, there he is. Yeah. What's your brain run about arson? Arson, my beloved? Oh, fuck. God damn it. I promised I wouldn't get into Genshin, but Perry is gonna force me to play Genshin, so I might actually join the fucking Genshin AU. I swear to god. I love Ray. I wanna keep writing for that villain AU, but I am a little baby. God damn it, you people and your fucking Genshin impact. I swear to god. Those are words, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, huh? Oh, gambling. Okay. Yeah, I know it's a fucking gambling game. Dude. My bread and butter was fucking, uh, the Kingdom Hearts gotcha game, which closed, at, um, because I don't remember why, but it did. It closed down. We did it. We got a house. I, uh, we can put, what was a perfect amount of corners? Put some logs in these corners. There was. It's dead now. They killed it. You know what? Because it was a Kingdom Hearts gotcha game, there was crucial lore right in the middle of it. Because of course there was. Literally, the Kingdom Hearts, they have two gotcha games. I'm pretty sure one is still active. The Kingdom Hearts Dark Roads is still active. But the other one is the entire prequel story to Kingdom Hearts and it has all the juicy lore in it. And it's like, <laughs> Nomura, please. Nomura, stop. Stop. Namora! 
And Dark Roads is the shitter one. That one was Kingdom Hearts uh, Union Cross. And Union Cross was great and I played it. That was my entire thing. I was like, I will only play one Katja game. And I and it's the Kingdom Hearts one. I will never play your Genshin Impact. I'm already playing the Kingdom Hearts Gacha game. You know? No. No. There we go. <laughs> okay, and <laughs> if I wanted pretty anime characters, I'd watch an anime. I wouldn't gamble for them. <laughs> I am so easy, so able to resist the allure of a gacha game because my only experience with gacha games is fucking Kingdom Hearts. So, you're not getting me. I'm only being forced to play it because of Perry. It is against my will and I want the world to know that. Oh fuck, I almost jumped off. But yeah, and then we're gonna have the big light up here. And then a big hat on top. And we're gonna have to wait because I don't have any glowstone. Why I have to con Kami into getting me glowstone? I do wanna. Uh... Perry can fucking try! I'm probably gonna end the stream. As much as I was meant to be streaming to stay awake, I wanna, <laughs> I wanna fall asleep. I'm so tired. I want to have a little nappy nap. Yeah. I'm gonna hide on the bed out of the water. But thank you guys for coming and hanging out with me while I was building a tower. It is not done yet. <laughs> Depending on time, I should probably finish it before the big Sunday lore stream. But like, eh, I'm bad at building. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, thank you for hanging out with me. <laughs> see ya! Bye, guys!